KTVN Reno. You're watching T News at 5. Thanks to new technology and DNA, genealogy officials now know the identity of the victim known as Sheep's Flat Jane Doe. Good evening, I'm Kristen Remington. And I'm Landon Miller. Thank you for keeping it here at 5 o'clock. The victim's name was Mary Edith Silvani, and her killer was James Richard Curry. Both were identified by genealogists. Paul Nelson picks up the story live in the newsroom with more developments on this. And Paul, what does this case say about DNA, its evidence, and all of that? Well, it's evolving, Landon. Detectives didn't know anything about the victim or the suspect, yet their DNA solved the crime. It all happened because detectives teamed up with the private genealogists to identify them through their relatives. It's such an interesting crime and it's such an interesting solve with so many twists and turns. Until recently, investigators had never heard of Mary Silvani. They only knew her as Sheep's Flat Jane Doe. She died of a gunshot wound in the summer of 82 and her case went cold. Now detectives know her name and the suspects, James Richard Curry. It feels really good to see that done because I really feel that now with any cold cases with DNA, you really have a good chance now to uh, identify suspects and victims. The Washoe County Sheriff's Office teamed up with the DNA Doe Project and Identifinders International to find out who they were. The private genealogist used a large database of DNA to find their relatives, family members who have their DNA results online. If you upload your stuff to the internet, it's available, but yet I, it's, that's the world we live in. Data is data. You know, we share data with everybody. Silvani's profile led them to her parents, John and Blanche Silvani in Detroit. They eventually found out that the suspect was the grandson of a Dallas couple. James Curry was one of their son's illegitimate child. To be able to identify the suspect victim and then bring this case to a closure um, is, a, is a great day for the sheriff's office and all those that worked on it. Curry killed himself in jail in January of 1983, shortly after confessing to three other murders in the Bay Area. Detectives first used his DNA from Silvani's sexual assault kit in 2000. This came back several months later that they actually had a good profile on the suspect's DNA, but there was no hits in the system. Curry's DNA wasn't in CODIS because he died years before that national database began. Washoe County has about 30 unsolved homicides. The sheriff hopes this kind of work can help solve some of those and future crimes. Covering Crime Beat live in the newsroom, Paul Nelson, 2 News.